Hey guys, welcome to Unit 3, Lesson 6, where we're going to be talking about point slope form. Yes, another way to write equations of lines. So let's talk about the ways we've already learned on how to write equations of lines. So the forms of linear equations that you have already done, you've done two. Okay, first one was slope intercept form, which was y equals mx plus b, which is really great for graphing because you can easily grab your slope and y-intercept. The second form was standard form, ax plus by is equal to c, okay? Standard form is good for like setting up word problems and systems later on when we do our next unit, systems of equations, easy to find x and y-intercepts, and so slope-intercept form. But you know, standard form is standard form. And now the third and last one is point-slope form. So I just want to remind you that this first one that we talked about is called slope intercept form because it shows you the slope and the y-intercept. Well, point slope form is going to show you a point and a slope. So the name actually tells you what you have. So let's talk about the point slope form. So to write the equation of a line passing through a point with a slope, you can use point slope form, which is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. Now what I do want to mark for you is that your point is located here and here, and then your slope is right there. And in point slope form, y will remain as y and x will remain as x. And this is where you input the point and this is where you input the slope. This is where you input the point that's given, and this is where you'll input the slope that's given. And then from point slope form, you will be setting it back into slope intercept form. And I'll show you how to do that. So you wanna kind of keep this handy as we go through these problems and then you know eventually this gets, this gets memorized. We use point slope form a lot in upper level mathematics. So let's take a look at an example of how you will set it up into point slope and then switch it into y equals mx plus b. So notice the direction says, write the equation of the line that passes through the given point and has the given slope, and then write your final answer in slope intercept form. Okay, so since we were given, since we're going to be given a point and a slope, we're gonna start in point slope form and then from there, we're gonna to convert to y equals mx plus b, or slope intercept form. So this first example, we have our point, four, one, and our slope, two. So we're given a point and a slope. We're gonna put that into our point slope form. So I'm writing the point slope form of y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 and I input my point into those spots, and I input my slope, oh, that's not a highlighter, I input my slope into the m slot. So let's rewrite that as y minus one equals two x minus four. So now I've successfully put this point and this slope into point slope form. Here's your y from your point, here's your x, from your point and here's your slope. Notice how the form has minus in it. That's the way the form is. And if any of these points were negative, then you know our minus would be minus minus and we would have to handle that algebraically. So now we are in point slope form. Let's switch into y equals mx plus b form. And to go from point slope form to y equals mx plus b, we are simply going to solve for y to do that. So let's distribute the two first, 2x minus eight. And that was distributing two, so now we're gonna add one to both sides. So y is equal to 2x minus seven, okay? So here was our line in point slope form and then we translated it from, or converted it, sorry, from point slope into slope intercept by simply distributing and adding the one, also known as isolating y, so by solving for y. 
And our final answer of our line that passes through this point and has that slope is y equals 2x minus 7. All right, let's try number three. So we were given a point and a slope. So we're going to put it in point slope form. We're going to put the information into our point slope form. So we have our y is 0 and our x is negative 6. So y minus 0 is equal to slope x minus minus 6. Or y is equal to 2 thirds x plus 6. I'm going to distribute my 2 thirds because now that I've finished point slope form, that's done. Let's put it in y intercept form. So that's y is equal to 2 thirds x plus 12 over 3, which is 4. And now we have it in slope intercept form. All right, let's try one more example, or we'll do two more examples. Let's do number 5. We've got a point of 4, negative 3 with a slope of negative 1. So we'll start with point slope form because they gave us a point and a slope. Okay, so our point is 4 for x and negative 3 for y. So y plus 3, since it's y minus minus 3, is equal to slope x minus 4. Okay, so y plus 3 because it's minus minus. And there's our point slope form. So we have it there in point slope. Now we need to switch it into y equals mx plus b. So we're going to start by isolating y by distributing the negative 1. So negative x plus 4. And now we're going to subtract 3 from both sides to get that y is equal to negative x plus 1. And there is our slope intercept form. So same line, but two forms. The last example we'll do together is number six. So that we're given a point and a slope. We'll start with point slope form, x minus x1, okay. Our point is zero for x and negative one for, I'm uh, negative nine, sorry, for y. So let's plug that in. y minus minus nine is y plus nine. That's equal to slope x minus 0. All right, so now we have it in point slope form. Let's switch it into y inter slope intercept form, slope intercept form. Okay, so we're going to solve for y. Start with distributing your 4. So y is equal to 4x minus 0, or just 4x. And then subtract 9 from both sides to get y is equal to 4x minus 9. Now we have it in slope intercept form, and that is Unit 3, Lesson 6, Point Slope Form. Thanks for watching.